so hey guys how's it going on welcome back to a brand new episode and today in this video we are going to cover what google authentication using firebase auth in your mernstack application isn't that great simplifying your authentication setup without using any jwt authentication we will simply use firebase authentication for all the authentication works and now let's just see how we are going to do this now in one of my previous videos i have already uh, explained about like how to actually uh, set up authentication now this is that application in this video i have simply taught you how to get the uid from firebase authentication and create a UID in our mern backend with that uid so that whenever we need the information about the user we can fetch that information from by using the uid but that's not a very efficient approach let's see a better approach in today's video like basic authentication will be covered in this application or it's simple you can just go to firebase click on authentication and do some basic checkups and yeah it's done but in today's video what we have to do first is okay now let's just see the server setup first and then i will explain what is the stuff you have to do first of all this is the basic server setup in which i have a client folder which consists of the client code of the application which is white plus react okay and this is the app.js the main server file for our thing now first of all we have to create a firebase.js page and in that we have to do admin okay we have to do firebase admin and then we have to create a service account now this file this dot slash service account key.json firebase is going to give us so how to get that come to your firebase console go to the project settings click on the project settings okay and then go to service accounts and now within the service accounts just give me a second so this is how it is so within the firebase admin sdk you have this right we are set up setting it up in node node.js so this is the code which we just used similar to this so if you click on generate new private key it will click on and click on generate key it will download this file for you which is this guy service account key.json and you you simply have to import it in your firebase.js file and then admin dot initialize app credential admin credential cert and pass in the service account and your credentials will be initiated now before going further i would just simply like to tell about all the dependencies we are using body parser course express firebase admin and mongoose all right now don't worry i will be providing this entire basic setup as a github report to you in the description so you can use it pretty quickly for all your projects before going ahead guys i would like to show you a basic demo of what i have built previously so this is a simple application just having a button with sign in with google and this is the mongodb database where we are storing our users currently there are no users if i refresh the thing you can see currently there will be no users but uh, now we will just sign in with google click on this button and a google pop up will come we can select any one of the emails which we want to use i will like to use this last one click on it and just see what the the magic like here are the user data in the console and if i go here and click on refresh you can see the data updated right here you see this is the data the picture the display picture uh, the name email uid what are the things i have created in the user model and passing in through the route api route we're getting all that information right now how to actually implement this okay so let's just see the code part now so this is our app.js we have imported the basic things we have get the admin from dot slash firebase and the user model so let me just quickly show you the user model how it is done so within the models user so this is the schema we are having the uid the name the email and the picture that is it okay so this is the model and then within the app.js we are importing these basic things setting up course and dot env and the basic things which is express starting the express app using body parser.json the course and the mongodb database setup that is it so now this is the first function which is a verified token now what does this function do it verifies your token from the firebase so what is happening within this function we have a request response and next now if you know jwt auth authentication using jwt token json web token we use next for like if things are okay go to the next step that's how it think it works right 
so let's just see how this function is going to work so we get an id token from our headers okay we get an id token now if there is no identity id token we are just simply saying unauthorized but if there is an id token what we are saying is the decoded token we get the val we verify this id token from admin dot auth function pass in another function and pass in the id token within this function which is verify id token okay now we have a decoded token with us now we'll say request dot user is this particular decoded token and next okay the user is verified so we will simply say next okay so now this is a post request which will like only be accessible like we are posting the user data here so you can see we are passing in user id name email picture from request dot user and then this is a verify token uh, the middleware which is this thing okay verifying the token which is being passed and then we will find the user from this uid and if we have the user send that user as a response and if we don't have a user create one that is simple okay simple and clear now this is the entire backend okay and now let's just go with the client thing so actually i'm using white plus react js to build a react app so now in here also first of all let's see the dependencies which i am using so simple i am gonna use uh, the tailwind css for basic styling and uh, that's it nothing much and we will be using firebase as well yeah these are the two extra dependencies which i am currently using firebase and tailwind css and rest of them all are the basic ones so first of all let's set up the firebase.js file so we are in a, we are importing the initialize app and get our google auth provider this is our firebase config which you can just simply get from here if we go to the project settings then general you you can go down scroll down and you can get the data currently i'm not showing that because of privacy concerns you know so next what we have to do is initialize the app get the authentication export it so that we can use it in our components and this is the google provider which we are going to use now within the app.jsx we have imported this auth google provider from dot slash firebase which is this particular file and the sign in with pop-up function from firebase slash auth now here we have a simple button on which has sign in with google which is just this thing when we click on it we are calling this handle google sign in so what is this function actually doing so first of all we are using async event and then this is calling this particular function which we just imported here passing in the authentication and google provider to it we get this result this is the result which was being logged here app jsx9 you can see it right here okay and then we get a token of this result we get a token and now the post request which we had we are passing this token there authorization you can see the token and we are passing in to the same route here okay then we get the user data which is response.json which we are sending using response.send from our backend and that is here the data so that is as simple as that that is how it works so guys uh, the template the entire code of this thing which will be available to you in the github repo i have added that thing and you can just set up your firebase credentials and simply use this functionality in your react apps instead of setting up jwt authentication from scratch and messing in google cloud console for the google authentication and setup it's a waste of time right you can easily use firebase it's free for basic stuff and yeah you can use it okay so if you want other features like email and password login etc also you can set that up with firebase authentication itself no need to set up jwt authentication for some stuff and google authentication for some stuff you don't need firebase already provides us too many providers google microsoft twitter apple facebook play games github yahoo let's say otp verification as well email password so there are multiple things you can just simply use them okay no need to work all hell lot of with jwt authentication then verification of token cookies and all that we don't need all that stuff right so that is it that is how this thing is going to work now if you feel if you have any queries regarding the same just let me know in the comments below and i will be right there to help you out thanks for watching